Are you ready to show up, deliver, and engage with your audience here online? Then stick around for today's episode of Ed Talk TV, where we're going to talk about the number one way that is cost effective for you to promote your small business here online. So if you're ready, let's jump into it. All right, welcome to Ed Talk TV, conversations worth having. I'm your host, Ed Troxel, Facebook Live producer, helping small businesses like yourself show up right here online through live broadcasting. And if you need any support in your small business, please reach out. I love pointing you in the right direction, hopefully working with you, uh, but at the very least pointing you in the right direction. So this show, we go live Monday, uh, sorry, we go live every Monday. It used to be Monday through Friday. We go live every Monday at 10 a.m. Pacific Standard Time right here on the Facebook page as well as on the YouTube channel. And today's episode, we want to talk about uh, the number one cost-effective way you can promote your business here online. Now, before we get into that, I do like to always throw in some random news and just, just have a little bit of fun because let's face it, we, we need that more now than ever. Um, this one's not so much random news or fun, but it's something to pay attention to if you haven't seen this already. What's really interesting is Facebook and Instagram, and tell me if you've seen this, even if you're watching the replay, but Facebook and Instagram have been promoting at the top of the news feeds uh, new forgivable new forgivable loans for small businesses. Um, they're promoting the sba.gov website, which is fantastic. Uh, I don't know if you've seen that, but it's really cool that now social media platforms like Facebook, which also owns Instagram, uh, they're utilizing their platform and helping uh, us small business owners by promoting the things that the sba.gov uh, is sending out. So it's super cool to see that happening uh, on top of the news feeds now. Uh, let me know if you're noticing any other cool things that they're promoting. Uh, but today what I wanted to do was talk about the number one cost effective way for you to market your business here online. Now, before we jump into that, we got to start at the basics, right? And so I want to ask you, even if you're watching the replay, this is for all live viewers and replay viewers. I want to ask you, what is one product or service that you are trying to promote right now? Go ahead, let me know, drop it into the comments down below, uh, even if you're watching the replay. What's that one product or service that you specifically are trying to sell right now? Let me know what it is. This is your time to promote, uh, but also uh, let me know how are you promoting it. And for some of you, you may not have uh, an idea yet of how you're promoting it. You may think that you're promoting it by posting it or by talking about it with people online, but uh, you're probably not in a section or in a, um, sorry, you're probably not promoting it like you want to, so, and that's okay. Just let me know down below uh, what's one product or service you are trying to sell right now, and then also what are you actually doing to promote it? So we have to start at the basics, right? We have to understand where we're at with that. Then from there, we have the whiteboard. Look at that. It's like like Vanna White. Woo! Uh, so we have the product, the one product. And remember, if this is your first, if you've followed me, awesome. You'll know what I'm about to say. If you're new to me, don't judge me on my handwriting. I'm the tech guy. This is not my thing, okay? Uh, so we have one product or service. Then we have ways we promote it. Cool, you can kind of see that. Sorry, I'll bring it a little closer. Try to get the glare off of there. All right. And then what are the different ways that you can promote? So even if you're not using these ways, I want you to tell me down below, what are some ways that someone could promote their product or service. Uh, this can be online and offline, 
We're specifically going to be targeting online, especially because of the current situation. Uh, but feel free to share anything that comes to mind when it comes to promoting your product or service in terms of how you promote it. So these are just going to be a couple. So uh, we'll say how to promote. All right, cool. So we got, and these aren't going to be in any specific order, by the way. Feel free to share yours in the comments. These are not in any specific order, but just for this purpose, I'm going to put numbers just so that way we have them there. Uh, so we're going to say uh, post on social. If I can spell social. Media. Let's see if we can get that any better. No, we'll just put post on social. I'll move it closer. SM equals social media. Number two, we have send an email. Right, we can send an email. Uh, we can do a whole email campaign off of this. We have number three here. Again, not in any specific order. Uh, you can shoot a text. How many of you send text messages to your clients? I'm just curious. Um, you can also, number four here, is send a DM. Whoops. DM. Do we know what a DM is? DM means direct message. On Instagram and on Facebook, it's PM, private message. So if you were not feeling comfortable dropping a comment down below, you could always PM me, which is private message me with what you're struggling with, where, how I can help you, uh, you know, where can I point you in the right direction, that kind of stuff. So these are just four simple ways that you can promote your business online. There's a long list that you can go from, but these are just four, right? Then you have, um, uh, let me just double check my notes. So yes, so you have these four and you want to make sure that you're using some of these, if not all of them, in your marketing strategy, right? Because remember, marketing is just starting the conversation. It's really getting it out there. And it should be a bunch of different things playing apart from your website to social media platforms, to um, emails, to texting, to whatever it is that you, that you do in your business and that have uh, a comfort level with your clients. So these are just four there. Now, the number one way to do this, though, because these are all great and, and you should do these, don't get me wrong. But we're gonna slash this right now and we're gonna say the number one cost-effective way, can you guess? The number one cost-effective way, I'm gonna flip this board because I want you guys to see it big. The number one cost-effective way for you to market slash promote your business online are you ready? Go live. This is the key to your success. In fact, you're three times more likely to succeed both in business and in life if you go live. I'm not making that up. In fact, the research shows that Facebook users spend three times as much, or sorry, spend three times as much time watching Facebook Lives than standard pre-recorded videos. So I know a lot of you are like, well, can I just do a, a, a perfectly edited video and throw it up there? You could, but it's not gonna get you the same return on your investment, or like I, or what I like to call return on post, ROP, it's not gonna get you that same return. Going live is the key, and it's the most cost-effective way for you to promote your business. Uh, another fact, 82% of people prefer live videos to a brand's standard social media post. What does that mean, standard? Standard means text or text plus an image, right? So. Yes, you should be using those and incorporating those and start incorporating this. Again, it's not just one thing over another. It's the combination of everything. 
going live is going to be your key to success for your business, especially now. Um, another stat for you, 80% of social media users would rather watch a live uh, video from a brand than read a blog post. That does not mean you don't have to post a blog post. You can still do a blog post, but what? Add in a live. If you go to my blog, all it is is live broadcasts. Could I be adding some copy, some text to those blog posts to make it stronger and to help more with my SEO and stuff? Of course, and that's on the list. But for me, I prefer going live because Facebook is where I mostly show up. And it is the way that you get rewarded for from Facebook by going live. Now, just to recap, we talked about bum, 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 one product or service. So if you're just tuning in or you're watching the replay, drop in the comments what's one product or service that you are trying to promote for your business right now. Tell me how you're currently promoting it. And if you're not, that's okay, let me know because that's the whole point of this episode. And then we did talk about the different ways you could promote. So you could post on social media and these are not in any specific order and they're not the only ways, there's so much more. But you can post on social media, you can send out an email, you can text someone about it. You can also send them a DM, which is a direct message, or on Facebook, it's called a PM, a private message. And these are all great, and they should go in combination with each other in terms of you can email, you can text, you can message, like all of them can play a part, uh, have the different roles. But if you're looking for the most cost-effective way to market your business online, then you need to go live. And I know you hear that and you've heard that before and you might be wondering, well, yeah, but Ed, what does that actually mean? It means that you need to pick up your phone and use Facebook Live specifically to go live, which means put yourself out there and discuss your business, promote that service or offer. And it doesn't even have to be all about that service or offer right off the bat. You can just go live to check in with people, to ask questions, to, to let them know who you are. That's the beauty of live is that you can go, oops, you can go live and, and be there with your audience. That's the beauty of it. And so that's what I really want to encourage you, of course, more now so than ever. We're all starting to feel more, well, I'm hoping that you're all starting to feel more comfortable being on camera because a lot of you are being forced to be on camera uh, with Zoom calls and, and uh, remote meetings and all of that. But it's so important, not only for your, uh, your business, but for yourself too. You will become more confident. You will start standing out more and you will start getting more uh, opportunities that will be coming your way when you start doing this, when you start going live. I know because I, I've done all of this. This is what I've been doing for the past five years. And this is what has allowed my business to succeed online and to keep growing and to be here. Um, so really start embracing live broadcasting. If you haven't, uh, you, you have the tools right at your fingertips. If you don't know how to use it, reach out. That's why the Business Gone Live program exists is so that I can help teach you how to go live with a plan so that you can have three times the success rate here online. Um, so really utilize the tools and resources you have at your fingertips and, and, and do it because it's such a beautiful thing when you can go live. And here's the thing, the first few are not gonna be that great and that's okay. You're gonna get better the more you do it. And I will say one of the new projects that I on started last week we have a new show uh, called SBDC Midday Live that we're, we produced and are hosting. And I got to tell you, the first episode, we blew it out of the water last week. And it's like, it's so crazy. And tomorrow's another episode. It's a weekly show. It, it's, it's a beautiful thing. And it's something that you can do for your business as well. And it just takes you investing your time in learning how to do it. And it's not that hard when you have the right guide and the right tools at your fingertips. So 
show up, deliver and engage with your audience here online and use the power of live broadcasting so that you can make a greater impact and you can promote your business cost effectively here online. So I hope that this was helpful and that you guys all have a wonderful week if I don't see you beforehand. And if you need anything, please reach out, shoot me a message if you need to, and I will point you in the right direction. All right. Have a great day. Take care, everyone.